Morning everyone, welcome to the Lake District. I'm in a little place called Clapper's Gate, which is just the other side of Ambleside, and uh, came here last night. Been up in the Lake District for two nights now, and I'm just gonna give my experience of the last two days. So I'm gonna head home today, I'm gonna ride at Grisdale Forest, have the bike with me. Um, it's not the great, it's clearing up, but it's, it's wet, very wet overnight. So, winter van life. Um, and I saw a video yesterday, and uh, sorry if I'm sort of piggybacking off him, but Dave Outdoors and how and how he's really lost the mojo for, for van life. And, and I, I totally get it. I absolutely totally get it. I had to force myself to get out get out in the van get away get up to the Lake District it's about three and a half four hours I went over to Estelle yesterday I wanted to get some photography in get my drone up which I didn't because apparently now you have to log in every time you want to use your drone I don't know I need to check that one out but I didn't get any drone footage which is a shame hopefully I got some nice photos though so I did a little walk there I didn't go up any big heights like Scarfell, Scarfell Pike, that's for another day, nice sunny day, but it is an absolute pucker, pucker hike, one wealth, and I'll do another, I'll do another video on when I do do that, because it is well worth recording. So then I got in the van, and I didn't really want to stay there, because it's kind of well out of the way, and I knew I didn't want to do sort of the hike again today, I wanted to get out on the bike. So I drove, and I drove, and I drove, and I eventually managed to find somewhere park to park. There is the Park Fortnite app um, where you can find somewhere to park. And, and this is where it gets really difficult. So Monday night I came up and I managed to find a place, pitch dark, and it was just along a pass towards, it wasn't hard not pass, it was on another pass. Parked up there and the wind and the rain all night just battering the van very little sleep so obviously you're you're tired the next day you're tired um up and about come back it's cold it's not too cold um van doesn't really get that cold when it's around 10 degrees and i'm wearing a t-shirt and a top and i'm actually fine at the minute i think it's, i don't know anywhere between i think it might be about seven degrees outside i've got the, the windows open to get a bit of ventilation in and i'm all right so it's it's not too cold but you get parked up and it's dark at five o'clock. So what are you gonna do for five hours? You know, oh, and of course you haven't got a signal. So, you know, I brought a book with me, make a few notes, but by nine o'clock, you know, I, I brought a bottle of beer for me cause I'm not drinking at the minute or drinking too much. So yeah, by nine o'clock you're, you're ready for bed. And then today, yeah, last, like I say, last night I parked here. And it's a really, really nice spot. We'll have a look. Um, morning. Looks like we have another van next door. So, so this is what you wake up to, and it's lovely. It's bloody lovely. Look, the sun's out now, and look, I might might get the drone out. I don't know, but. But it's just raining all night. So yeah, a couple of girls there, a knife. Van's all ready for the day. You can see how it's all tied up. I do use a sleeping bag now because it's so easy just to curl up and with a duvet and a sheet and just gets, just gets, uh, I find it, find it gets dirtier, so quicker. So um, yeah, and it's really comfortable actually. So, the one upside of van life is there aren't many people around in vans, so you can generally get parked up. In the summer, I imagine that somewhere like this, on a nice sunny night, not getting dark till half nine, ten o'clock, it's going to be it's going to be packed. You, you know, you're going to have to get here really early to get a place, I imagine. But yeah, the downside of van life is it's just it's quite boring. It's quite cold. It's you know d dark by five. Unless you've got something specifically to do, so it 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 does take. It, it, I think what they call it is type two fun. So 
My girlfriend told me about type 2 fun. Type 2 fun is when you do something and you're not necessarily enjoying it the whole time. And then you get back and you're home. And then later you think, yeah, okay, I did enjoy it. It was better than sitting at home. I had a really nice time. The hike was actually nice. Got some good photos. And yeah, the, hopefully the ride today will be great. So I think what I'm trying to say is van life in the winter isn't great, but it is worth it. Just to get out, discover, get around. It's definitely better than just sitting at home. It's me for the day. Enjoy. So that wasn't quite me for the day. Come across to Grisdale or Grisdale, not quite sure how to pronounce it. Um, got myself a cup of tea and a bit of chocolate because I've just come back from my ride. And sort of thinking about the first part of the video and how, yeah, I suppose I, it is on a bit of a downer, but that's the thing, this is the thing. I've just had type one fun on the mountain bike. There's some North Face Trail isn't amazing a um, bit like the clothing really but there are some brilliant brilliant bridleways around here really natural and it's just just brilliant I've had such a good time come back to the van um, and and it's made the whole weekend worthwhile so you can you 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 can go oh I'm not gonna go out I'm not gonna go out I think when you have a van for the winter you have to do something. You have to go for a hike. You have to get out on your bike. You have to do something. You can't just go away and sit in the van for two, three days during the day while it's blowing an absolute hoolie outside. Raining, sun, rain. You don't want to go out. Boo hoo. So I guess if you really want to go away, what I'm saying is, is make the most of it. Um, and actually, cycling down to, uh, one of the bridal ways down to sort of... The we're the opposite side of um, Coniston, Lake Coniston, but over the other side I can see Coniston, the old man of Coniston, the waterfall there. So now I'm like, I have to come back and I have to go up Coniston and I have to get some good drone photos of, or drone videos of, of Coniston. Oh, there's a the waterfall and there's a castle that I can see. So, so it's inspired me to come back. So, um, yeah, fantastic, really, and I'm really, really glad I came. So, if you are feeling a bit in the doldrums about getting out in the van for the winter just make a plan make go right this is my objective for the weekend i am going to do this and if you do it you'll come back and you'll feel accomplished so i hope i helped i hope i have helped anyone that is not really that interesting or doesn't want to get out during the winter a lot of people do have vans and they just don't get out during the winter a lot of campsites are closed i've, not, I've driven past so many campsites they're all closed so where are you going to stay? So, you know, you have to make the best of it. You might not have the facilities. So, one thing, make sure you do have a toilet on board because that just makes a difference, amongst other things. But, you know, you don't want to cut short. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to finish my tea, have my chocolate and head home. So, have a good day.